Once upon a time, there was a princess who lost her kingdom to an evil genie. and her friends must find the Great Book of Magic. So I'm starving! I can't wait any longer! Please! Sandwiches! Yay! Yay! Uh. <gasps> I've got some mozzarella, sun-dried tomato, and garlic marinated rat tail! <laughs> Kidding! Oh, good. I can't stand garlic. Hello, honorable grandson. Hello, grandfather. What clue do you have for us today? What's he saying, Zao? <laughs> to find the great book of magic, one must go to the light. He says that to find the great book of magic, we must go to the light. Go to the light. Oh, my, that sounds mysterious. But what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean, Grandfather? One must follow the signal. He says we are to follow the signal. The signal? Like an alarm signal, for example? Oops, I didn't do it. So, Grandfather, should we follow a signal or a light? If I told you, there would be no story. I hate it when he does that. That. We've got to find the Great Book of Magic. Oh, please, Princess, please! Let me be in the spotlight for just one episode, please! Sir Roderick, I just don't think we have time. <laughs> Listen, lady, it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to be in the spotlight! Wait a minute. Spotlight? Light! That's what Grandfather said. Go to the light! It was my idea first. But I am a poor villager. Too tall. Eyes all wrong. I'm not casting a horror movie. Too blonde. Too dark. Too messy. You're hired! I can't believe it. It's a dream come true. Some background on my character. What is background? Well, um, like, what is his favorite color? Where's his horse? Is he lactose intolerant? And I'm rather intolerant! You're fired! You hear? Fired! <laughs> I almost believed you. You should look into acting, you know. You're fired! Ugh. Not too convincing that time. Is this convincing? <laughs> Who's next? She is! Anyway... 
This commercial stuff is just not my thing. Uh, I was absolutely right to walk off that project. It's better for my career. No, really, I feel... I feel relieved, you know? And what's new at the movies? Elspeth, that's who. A magical talent. She jumps, hops, flies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember reading this bound and gag bit in the script. Get out of here quick, it's a trap! What? But... Ah. And fade to black. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goody, the whole gang's here. <laughs> Genius, I am your producer, remember? You are? Of course I am. See the name at the bottom of this page? Okay, so what is the plan? The plan is... God! This is outrageous! Somebody call my mother! I'll send you to the North Pole. <laughs> the Himalayas. The South Pole. Belgium. Belgium? Why Belgium? How come they get all the exciting places, huh? <laughs> and anyway, this big budget commercial stuff is just not my thing. I was right to walk off that project. It's better for my career, yeah? I said exactly the same thing two scenes back. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. <laughs> Dear viewers, behold my victory over the Questers. By this time tomorrow, they'll be gone forever. <laughs> I've heard that before. Silence. All it took good people is four crates, four boats, and four one-way tickets. Eh, uh, we're missing one quester. Roderick. Oh, um, ha-ha, <laughs> be serious. That clown, let him try to save them. <gasps> My friends are in trouble. I've got to save them. <laughs> but where could they be? He said they were on boats. Boats? That means a lake. But there's no lake around here. There are boats in the port down the street. I'll never find them. Oh, no. Are you listening? Support! Support! I know. I'll go to the port. I think there's one down the street. Ah! This time, I think I can humbly say that I win. <laughs> you want a bet, Duke? Ready! You'll never defeat Boris and me! Uh, actually, he'll be doing all the fighting. Cut! Start over. It wasn't convincing enough. You can do it, Sir Roderick! Action! You will get a taste of my sword! You just dare come in here now. You'll suffer my wrath. <laughs> and you'll suffer my breath. <laughs> no fish. Mine got away. Coward. <laughs> Keep going, Sarah! Yeah. You can do 
I, 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 I win? Did you see that? I won! Rats, I ran out of film! Adventures yet to film! My friends, no offense, but comedy is not my thing. And what about your grandfather's message? <laughs> Absolute nonsense, as usual. <laughs> Go to the light! I couldn't have said it more clearly. Give her a purse, did I? <laughs> it's dark. I don't get it. Who gave the princess the purse? That would be my present. Oh, there's such a nice villain. What's the catch? Oh, all right. I'll tell you, it's a magic purse. See, the quest is find the great book of magic before I do and have it in their possession. The purse will come alive. Okay. And then, and then, bring the book directly to me. A purse. A purse. That's your plan? Are you nuts? <laughs> has a mind of its own. You're such a pessimist, Rex. This is great news. The purse has rid us of the princess and Roderick. Our worries are over. Famous last words. <laughs> No sign of them? I can't find the two of them anywhere either. Maybe they went into town. Mommy! 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 Father! It looks like Gwen and Roddy aren't the only ones missing. Excuse us, we're looking for two adults. A knight and a princess. Join the club. All the grown-ups are missing. I need help with my homework, Dad. <laughs> thing we found this morning was this. Oh! That's the purse Sir Roderick gave Gwen. 
This is no ordinary purse. As Grandfather used to say... A woman's purse is a puzzle unto itself. I'll say it's not ordinary. It's kind of ugly, too. It's okay. Hmm? We're not going to hurt you. <laughs> it won't open. What's that? Just as I thought, it's a gift receipt made out to the devil. You got a gift receipt? Why'd you do that? Well, if she didn't like it, I wanted to be able to return it. I think this magic purse has something to do with the missing adults. And the Duke sent it. He's the one who must know what happened. <laughs> Wait, I think I have a plan. And I'll need your help. This does not look good. Oh, you're overreacting, Rex. What plan could boring, pathetic William have? Besides, they're hundreds of miles away. Open it up, or I'll play real loud music. Ever heard hip hoppy rap? You better do as they say. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? We want the princess and Sir Roderick back, and these children want their parents back. So until you return them. You're responsible for each and every one of them. The little ones need changing and feeding. <laughs> the laundry needs washing. And the kids need help with homework. I'll never do it. Never! You'll never see your princess on night again. <laughs> oh, suit yourself. Yeah, it's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't. You're gonna help me babysit. I hope your plan works, William. I was ready to show the Duke what I was made of. How long do you think the Duke can last? Uh, I'd give him to the end of the episode. Do you think Sir Roderick and the Princess are in danger or suffering? <gasps> I known, I would have hopped into a woman's purse years ago. Come on, it's really, really good. <laughs> yummy, yummy for the tummy. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Assist you? Rex! I'm on the phone! Bring the kid in the other room! Where was I? Breaking my eardrums. Yes, well, I have this purse that I purchased, and it swallowed all the grown-ups. And I need a spell to get them out. Ah, uh, was this magic purse certified by the Witch's Council of Concerned Fashion Divas? Eh, uh, I don't think so. Only the person who sent the purse can open it. Or unless you fix what you started, just start. <laughs> Rex, what do I do? Rex? <laughs> Rex? <laughs> the only way to release them is for me to open the purse. So please, let me just open it. <laughs> let me confer with my associates. Lester, I'm hungry! There are some snacks in the fridge! <laughs> we talked it over and we agree you can open the purse. 
No man can open it. <laughs> Maybe you have to be a woman to open it. Hmm? Is this really necessary? <laughs> the hat's not really doing it for me. I agree. That's it. Oh, looks great. Wow, that's so you. Divine. Can we just get on with it? And now the true test. Will you fool the purse? <laughs> Wait. Hide your beard. Good <laughs> morning, this big boy. It's gonna blow! <laughs> They're back! Hooray! 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 It's good to have you back. Oh, we were having a wonderful time, but it's nice to be back. You failed me, you miserable, pathetic press! I want my money back! <laughs> No, for a duke, he makes a pretty good looking duchess. Mm hmm. Since you didn't care for the saw, princess, here. Oh, Sir Roderick, you shouldn't have. Happy birthday. Oh. Uh, if you don't like that, uh, how about this? Mm. Or this? Mm. Or this? Mm. How about this? You shouldn't have. Uh, what about this? Uh, you really shouldn't have. And this? Mm. 